Welcome to the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast, inspiring real women with a passion for fishing and the outdoors to go get their adventure on. Now, here's your host, Angie Scott and Barb Carey. Hey, welcome to another 5-Minute Friday. Um, today, we're going to be talking about live bait. And it doesn't matter if you're ice fishing or you're open water fishing, maybe you'll get some tips from this. So um, I'm going to just do a little switcheroni here and get the other camera going. I know I'm a uh, video infant, but uh, anyway, we're going to see how this goes. First thing I want to do is just kind of show you some stuff that's happening here. Now these are um, spikes or maggots and look how active they are. Those are awesome bait. Um, this is a wax worm. As you can see there's more meat there but it's not quite as active. And then these are different types of soft plastics that imitate bugs that are in the water. Um, like this is a blood worm. This is the new Scuddy out by Mackie Plastics. And these different brands all have a little different scent and different legs and stuff like that. It's They're really, really good to fish with. When I'm out searching for fish, I start with plastics because when I'm going from hole to hole, I don't have to worry about my little maggot freezing. But I want to show you how these little maggot things get hooked. Um, if you can see here, there's two sides to this. One has a, uh, I'm leaning this up against me, one has a um, kind of a black spot at the, at the end of it. I don't know if you can see it or not. And it's a little bit more pointed. So what I'll tend to do is I like just roll this in my fingers in that little black spot. Just hold the hook still and just carry the kind of push the the spike through and see how that wiggles there that still has all its life so this one I'm just gonna kind of roll a little bit with this pointed end and pull pull it right through the tip of the hook there there's a little um, membrane in there that will emit a liquid you can kind of see it there this one I'm a little bit off See now that one is a good example because I was a little bit off and now look at that one isn't as near as wiggly as the other one. That's why it's so important to hook these right. This, that one I was a little bit low so and they come in different colors. This one is a uh, this one here I I really need my glasses for this. Now see how that one? And you can put four or five of them on there. Now I want to talk about minnows and the different types of minnows there are. This is, uh, you know, the kind of minnow matters. This is an emerald shiner commonly used in Lake the Woods or Lake Superior. Uh, often there's a golden shiner that's common on inland water. Let me grab one here. This minnow is a this is a sucker minnow and you know there's places where these minnows really are the ones to use and there's other places where shiner minnows are you know shiners or emerald shiners or fatheads in the bowl there there's a crappie minnow or a um, fathead um, you really want to match this the the kind of the size of the minnow depending on what the natural forage is. So I'm going to show you how I hook these for tip, tip up fishing or dead stick fishing. I generally use a lot smaller hooks than most people um, and there's two ways to do it is one is just to go right under the dorsal fin here and uh, you can even get a second barb um, in there if you want. You can make sure that gets all the way out and then this bait is going to present this way and um, when the fish chomps on it it's going to get a hook in there. Um, you can also tail hook them which is going to cause the minnow to be more active and uh, one uh, another way is just right under the skin right without going into the spine. You don't want to you don't want to um, 
pierce the spine, you just want to kind of go right under the skin and then come back out so the barb of that hook is uh, is sticking out so it stays on. So, you know, check your minnows often. Um, keep these um, wax worms in your pocket and they'll stay active if they're warm. Try a variety of uh, soft plastics. You can, uh, it's really good to have in your pocket all the time. You can switch up colors really quickly. And, uh, you know, it's not gross at all, so feel free to play around. But look at how those maggots on that swirl drop jig are just going to town. So make sure that you're hooking those right.